Hi everybody, it's Jen with OpenSource.com and I'm bringing you the top five articles from this week, December 15th through the 19th. You can find the links to the articles in the notes below and I publish the article that goes along with this video every Saturday on OpenSource.com. Alright, at number five this week we have National Geographic takes open source to the wilderness. Robin Mulwick interviews Shaw Selby in this article covering his work as a National Geographic Explorer who uses open source technology to chart and measure wilderness all over the globe. In his interview, he goes into more detail about his most recent project, the Avango Wilderness Project in Africa. With the open source hardware board, the Raspberry Pi, and Fishnet, an open source platform, Shaw tracks and shares data to improve conservation of one of our, one of our most valuable areas. At number four this week, we have My Life in Open Source and the Mentors Who Led the Way. Rich Bowen has been working on the Apache HTTP server for almost 20 years. He's also written nine books about HTTPD and spoken at more than 50 conferences. He's a member of the Apache Software Foundation, where he serves as a board member and as executive vice president. And last but not least, he is also responsible for putting on ApacheCon, both in North America and Europe which is the official conference of the Apache Software Foundation. In this article, Rich tells us all of it is due to the people who have believed in him and pushed him to achieve more. Learn how you can be a mentor, no matter what your age or your field, in this article. Maybe even reach out to thank someone um, or thank one of your mentors today. At number three, we have Best Open Source Tutorials of 2014. Scott Nesbitt delivers one of his fantastic best of lists with this article of our top guides of the year on opensource.com. These tutorials have likely been bookmarked, referenced many times, and at this point, maybe even printed out. Scott uh, categorizes the guides into these categories. Images and sounds, files and passwords, your inner geek, and beyond technology. At number two this week, we have GPL v2 goes to court. More decisions from the Versada tar pit. Mark Radcliffe writes about this ongoing case regarding the GNU General Public License version 2. Some fun facts about this is that the GPL v2 is the most widely used open source license. Black Duck Software estimates that 16 billion lines of code are licensed under GPL v2. For more about the case, check out this article. Finally, at number one this week, we have Top 10 Open Source Projects of 2014. Every year, our team looks back at the numbers and at the buzz around the open source projects that we have had the pleasure of covering on opensource.com this year. There are so many new and exciting things happening in open source beyond technology, but particularly in software. Our list consists of the most read and most talked about open source projects, the ones that are making surf size waves. If, you're, if one of your favorite projects made the list, we'd love to hear why you love it. You can leave us a message in the comments art, on, comment on the article or on the article Facebook or G Plus post. Thanks so much for joining me this week, everybody. Have a happy holiday, and we'll see you in a couple weeks.